All right, let's get into Michigan football recruiting. It is a big time weekend for the Michigan Wolverines hosting a bevy of prospects, but none more notable than the man we're going to show here, Quaveris Crouch. He is a five-star running back, linebacker. They call him an athlete. I was told that he's going to be a linebacker should he come to Michigan into the position he wants to play for career longevity, but Quaveris Crouch. I thought this was a pipe dream. I thought there's no way they're gonna get this guy. He's gonna go to Clemson, he might go to Florida State, might go to Alabama. They're not gonna get this guy with an amazing red hair to come to the University of Michigan. He's complained about weather. So Michigan's inviting him up in November. Hey, this is our second to last home game. Come on up, get a little of this you know, Midwest November weather. Corvera's couch said last week, Michigan and Clemson are tied for number one. This is a big deal, folks. This really is. I think Michigan has a very strong chance to land him. I don't think he's going to commit this weekend, but crazy things have happened. He's from North Carolina. He is a five-star linebacker running back. He's a five-star running back, and now he wants to play linebacker. So assuming he's still of course, going to be a five-star there. They're calling him an athlete. I want to know from you guys, though, do you think Michigan's going to land Corvarius Crouch? If they land him and Zach Harrison, that's four or five stars. I mean, this is going to be an insane class for Michigan should they land those two players. I think Harrison's much more likely than Crouch, but I believe that is a very strong chance Michigan has every opportunity to play, you know, big time game versus Penn State, impress him and say you could be a part of what could be the next monster in college football, the new monster of the North Michigan football. Type Y for yes, type N for no, below in the comments on Facebook Live, YouTube, if you think Michigan's going to land Corvarius Crouch from Charlotte, North Carolina could be Michigan's next great linebacker. Absolutely huge, huge, huge player. If you see a size 6'2", like 230, something like that. He is not the only player that will be in the uh, in Ann Arbor for this Michigan-Penn State game. Take a look at this man coming up next. He is a Florida State commit, and we've seen what's happened with Florida State. He committed them on July 30th, one month before the season. Kalen Deloach, linebacker recruit, 2019, four-star he is six foot, 206 pounds. He is a he's out of Savannah, Georgia, a top 250 player overall. You see here, number 242 overall prospect, the number 13 uh, outside linebacker. Now, Mike Morris, another Florida State commit, came up a while back, committed while he was coming to Michigan. I've been told we are on commit watch for this guy. He is making a trip up to potentially commit to Michigan if he likes what he sees. This would be a huge time get. Be the second player Jim Harbaugh stole from his boy down there at Florida State, Willie Taggart, the third Harbaugh brother. Could Kalen Deloach come to the University of Michigan? This is the commit watch I am watching out for this weekend, as well as the next guy coming up on our list. We've been talking about him for three or four months now, Mike Sain Ristol. Did I get that right? Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, I got a whatever. You kind of got it right, kind of got it wrong there from the production desk. Visiting Ann Arbor this weekend, he has long been a Michigan lean, although he's been committed to Virginia Tech. He finally decommitted just about a week ago, October 22nd. He is a three-star. He is from Massachusetts, though, and we know that is Don Brown country, and we've been told that Don Brown has said, look, this is not a three-star. This guy plays a lot higher level ball than a three-star prospect would get. Mike Sainristel, I'm gonna get this name right. I swear to you I am. Mike Sainristel will be in an arbor. I think in addition to the player we just told you about, Kalen Deloach, this could be the second commitment if, you know, Deloach, I think he is for sure going to commit. Not gonna get people as excited as Kalen Deloach, but nevertheless, Michigan is looking at potentially getting two commitments on the defensive side of the ball this weekend after they play Penn State. Check out the jacket that I am wearing. It is the baddest ass sports jacket on planet Earth, just anywhere on planet Earth. And you know why? I open it up and it's got the Michigan maize and blue with the blue block M on the inside, both sides. I'm gonna do one of these, this is awesome. You open up the sleeves, you roll these down. I might wear this inside out one of these days. I've never thought about that, but I could do that. $100 off is the final day, so they're available to everyone in the public. You're getting the exclusive action to get $100 off. Just email info at revealsuits.com. How can I get the Michigan football jacket that James Jordan was wearing on the Michigan football report? They will hook you up with $100 off. They got to do it today, though. It's not going to last for long. They're being sold within a matter of days. Info at revealsuits.com. Let's take a look at the rest of the 2019 prospects, targets that are visiting. What does the NR mean there? It means not raided. So I don't know many of these names after Kobe Myers, the three-star athlete up there at the top. 
few offensive linemen, you got a cornerback, you've got a QB. I believe these are players. You got Jackson Ostrowski, you've got Judge Jude Pedroso. These are just amazing names. I mean, Cortez Tolez, Micah Gelb. I almost feel like these aren't real people, but they are. Some of them don't have recruiting travels, have confirmed they are real people. I believe this is a walk on heavy weekend that these guys might get preferred walk on stats with Michigan. Wouldn't get too excited if any of these guys committed because I don't think they are scholarship level players outside of Kobe Myers on this list. So these guys, 2019. Uh, prospects come, you know, visiting Michigan this weekend. You might see one or two of them commit, but it'll likely be at, in a walk-on capacity. Though there are some big-time Michigan football commitments in the 2019 class. Guys already here have committed to Michigan visiting as well. Maybe to convince Crouch, maybe to convince San Ristol to commit to the Wolverines. Kalen Deloach as well. Chris Hinton out of the state of Georgia has been committed to Michigan for a long time. Bringing his little brother, who's a 2025 star. We'll talk about him in a minute. He chose Michigan over Georgia, the hometown Bulldogs, and Alabama. His dad is an NFL legend, really a multiple time uh, Pro Bowler offensive lineman. Went to Northwestern, so they are not uh, unfamiliar as a family with Big Ten football. Chris Hinton will be in town. He is a five-star athlete out of the state of Georgia, been committed to Michigan for a while, and he is their best bet. Uh, I mean, he is their best-rated commitment right now for this class. Chris Hinton will be in Ann Arbor for the Penn State game. If you want to get a Mays jersey for free, no, uh, no buying one, no getting it shipped to you and spending money. All you gotta do is get hooked up with our partner, BetDSI. It's where I make all of my sports bets every single weekend. Chatsports.com slash bet is the website. Promo code GOBLUE, you do three things. You get signed up with them as a new user, deposit, make your first bet, and DM me. I'll get your address, a couple pieces of information. We'll get a jersey out to you uh, in the size you choose within a matter of days. Go ahead and do it now. Gotta get those bets in and sign up before Monday Night Football, so do not wait. Who else will be in town for the Michigan Wolverines 2019 recruiting class? Nolan Rumler, Rumler, I don't know. I'm sure someone will call me out in the comments section for trying it both ways. I'm calling him Rumler, it sounds a little bit easier. Uh, committed to Michigan, also is considering West Virginia, was considering Clemson. He is out of the state of Ohio. He will be in Ann Arbor this weekend. You know, I like this, two of your better commitments, also Rumler, from the state of Ohio, is he getting, is he, you know, nudging uh, Zach Harrison, who of course won't be in Ann Arbor this weekend. A couple of these commits, these guys will be in town. I think the purpose of these is to, you know, you don't want a bunch of uncommitted guys saying, you know, you're going to Michigan, man, you're going to Michigan. No, you want is guys who are cheerleaders there in Ann Arbor, you know, telling them why they committed, asking people, hey, want to be part of this class with me? Nolan Rumler, Rumler, he is the guy along with uh, Chris Hinton. One more player I want to uh, identify here from the 2019 class, Eric All, the tight end. He is, uh, he is, he is all right when it comes to, uh, to, to his spelling as the first name, E-R-I-C-K, I don't see that too often. Committed to Michigan over State, over Notre Dame, over Florida State. He will be in town this weekend. So those are your committed players from the 2019 class who will be in town for the Penn State game to try and convince some other guys to not, uh, not be there. Those are the ones I want to highlight, but there are several other committed players that will be in there. I'm going to go ahead and read them off for you. Joey Velasquez, DJ Turner II, who has done IMG Academy, or Cesar Ruiz, Shea Patterson went, Tyrese Woods, Zach Carpenter, the offensive lineman, and then Carson Barnhart. So some O-linemen, some defensive players, a lot of defense side of the ball at the top of that, and then a couple of offensive linemen to go with the three players we spotlighted just a few moments ago. That is the 2019 recruits that'll be in town this weekend. What about 2020? What about the junior class that Michigan is recruiting for the 2020 class? Can you believe that? 2020, that's amazing. These guys are juniors in high school, about two and a half, three months into their junior uh, year of high school. And the one I want to talk about first is Miles Hinton. If Michigan gets this guy, Basically, the Hinton family is the greatest brother duo combo to ever hit Ann Arbor in the history of the world. He's visiting with his brother Chris, who is also I was committed to Michigan already. He has offers from basically everybody. I think it's going to be Stanford. Miles Hinton is highly academically focused. Offensive lineman, they've got to be smart to remember who to block. Highly offensive focused. Stanford, if he, much like a former Michigan commit, we're not going to uh, name names, we don't talk about another school's commit in that regard, that left Michigan as a commitment in 2019, went to Stanford. If Miles Hinton, his brother, gets into Stanford, I think he'll probably go there, just my you know gut feeling. But if not, or if he has a really strong feeling towards his playing with his brother, 
going to Ann Arbor. You could see him out there. I would say it's better than 50% chance. Miles Hinton, one of the top 10 players in the 2020 class, will join his brother, who was a five-star in the 2019 class, out of Atlanta, Georgia, heading north to Ann Arbor. But he will be in town. Could he commit to Michigan? Hey, you never know. Crazy things have happened. Their parents will be with them. Their dad, a former NFL player who played around the same time as Jim Harbaugh, so I'm sure they went against each other. Wouldn't have been on the field at the same time, though. Who else will be in Michigan from the 2020 class tomorrow? Josh Downs, a 2020 wide receiver. Not the biggest guy in the world, not the, the biggest by any means. His dad is a former college football player at NC State and has taken visits to NC State and Ohio State. He will be in town, 5'10", 165. Reminds me of uh, some of those spider wide receivers that Rich Rod had uh, at Michigan, one of those guys Jeremy Gallon really thrived under uh, Brady Hoke's more pro-style offense. So Josh Downs could be a guy to, to, to potentially commit. I don't think Michigan's going to end up with him. He's out of Georgia, though, where Michigan has done an excellent job at recruiting over the last couple recruiting classes. He's a top 350 player, four-star uh, 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 wide receiver, smaller guy, much different than the players they've got in the field now for the University of Michigan. But he will be in Michigan, along with Miles Hinton, two big-time 20 20 players. What will the score of the game though? These guys are coming to Michigan. They're coming in Arbor to watch Michigan take down number 14 Penn State. What will the score be? Send me a DM on Twitter at James T. Yarder and comment on this video on Facebook and on YouTube. Let me know what the score is going to be. If you want to win 25 bucks, be the first one to DM me the correct score on Twitter though at James T. Yoder. And if you do that, while you're in there, you might as well also say, hey James, how do I win one of those free Maze Michigan football jerseys? Because it's pretty simple. I'm gonna throw it up on screen right here. If you're a new user to BetDSI, get started. Chatsports.com slash bets. Promo code go blue, no spaces. Deposit, place your first bet, DM me, I'll ask you for a few, few pieces of information at James T. Yoder, and you will get hooked up with a Michigan football maze jersey directly from Chet Sports and Bet DSI. Let's take a look at the remaining 2020 recruits who will be in Ann Arbor this weekend for Michigan versus Penn State. You've got Makari Page, a four-star. Rashawn Williams, this is one to keep an eye on. He is out of the state of Michigan 2020, the number three player in the 2020 class. And I've heard he's leaning Ohio State. I don't like seeing big time players in the state of Michigan go to Ohio State. I'm okay sometimes if they go to Alabama, if they go to even Notre Dame, but if they go to Ohio State, that really hurts. Mike Weber being one of the more recent ones. Several players recently have left the state of Michigan to go to Ohio State. If Rashawn Williams does, that is a big time blow. Four star wide receiver. Michigan needs to make a big time impression on him this weekend to avoid having him go south to the hated Buckeyes. Take a look at some more players. These are the committed players in the 2019 class. Khalil Branham, if you don't follow him on Twitter, you need to because him and his older brother, who is a 2019 prospect, has not been offered by Michigan. They just are workaholics. These guys are practicing football nonstop. They call themselves the Branham Boys. And it's all photos and videos all day of them just catching a thousand balls a day, doing all kinds of crazy antics to stay in football condition 24 hours a day, 360 five days a year. Andre Selden, Nick Patterson, Shea's brother, will be in Ann Arbor as well. And then Cornell Wheeler, uh, 2020 committed player for the University of Michigan, linebacker, three star, will be in Ann Arbor. I am James Yoder, the face of Michigan football media and also the face of Reveal Suits Michigan football lined sports coats. A blue blazer on the outside, looks sharp. You go to a wedding with a bunch of Michigan State grads, you pull this bad boy out, you will own the room. $100 off if you message them now, send them an email, info at Reveal Suits, ask for the $100 special you saw on the Michigan Football Report. We'll be back next weekend, next week to talk Michigan, Penn State. Did they win? Did they get the victory? We will talk then. Until, see ya. Go Blue.